Today I'm going to show you our latest tool, our newest tool. It's the webhooks tool. And what this will allow you to do is connect apps to other apps easily, even if the apps you're connecting aren't yet on API Nation. If it's a new app, it's up and coming, or we haven't quite added it yet, using this tool, you can go ahead and quickly add it yourself. What are webhooks? Simply put, webhooks are a way an app can broadcast information out. This lets another application listen for and receive this information. Think of it like a notification on your smartphone. Your phone buzzes when it receives a text message. So the way to use a webhook is to tell an application to send a notification, a webhook, as soon as something happens. For example, a contact is created, a transaction is created, a form is filled out, an invoice is needed. Any of those things can send a webhook and then the connected app goes ahead and takes that information. And we have webhooks that are gonna send it out to your connected apps. So why would you need these webhooks when you have all the apps easy to connect on API Nation? We're always adding new apps, but this webhooks tool is kind of like a wild card. It allows you to connect all the apps on API Nation and any other app out there that you wanna use that uses webhooks. I'm talking about apps like Twilio, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Trello, even WordPress extensions. They can all be easily connected. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but these are the kind of apps you can now easily connect to any of the apps at API Nation. Let me show you what it'll look like to set this up. Here we are at API Nation. I'm gonna click Start Syncing to see all the apps. And then I'm gonna scroll down to W4 Webhooks. And there it is right here, click on that. Here you can see all the apps this tool is gonna to help you out with. But like I said, it's also a wild card. So all these apps using this webhooks tool can now connect to any other app that exists out there that uses webhooks. So for example, Typeform. Typeform is an awesome form builder, much like Jotform or Google Forms. You can use it to walk people through submitting information to you, getting leads, but it's a newer app and it's not yet on API Nation. But now using the webhooks, you can go ahead and add it yourself. And it's super easy to do. What we're gonna do is go back to webhooks and we're gonna sync type form to, we're gonna choose where it's gonna go. In this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to DocuSign. So let's say I'm setting up a type form to get information from my agents about a transaction. When they fill out that form, I want that webhook to jiggle and then all that information gets shot into DocuSign creating a new transaction. So I'm gonna go down here to webhook created, update DocuSign rooms, activate that. The first step to setting up any of these syncs is to sign into API Nation. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one here or you can sign in with Google, which is what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and sign in. Great, and now we're gonna connect our webhooks. I'm gonna hit this big button. You can see it's asking me, is it an inbound webhook? Does that mean the information is coming from another app or are we sending information out to an app? In this case, we are receiving information from Typeform. So we're gonna configure that inbound webhook. I'm gonna label it, I'm gonna call it Typeform and generate webhook. There we go. So you're gonna see something that looks like this. It's a long URL. I'm gonna hit copy. And now I'm gonna go over to Typeform. This is my Typeform workspace. And I'm gonna choose that form. I have a new transaction form here. Open that form up. And depending on the app, where you set up this connection is gonna be different. Just Google the app and webhook and it'll walk you through setting up the webhooks for that app. You can see in Typeform, you're gonna go over here to this connect tab. And then it offers you a bunch of integrations. Awesome. But we're setting up a webhook. So I'm gonna click on this webhooks. Click add webhook. And look, that's where our URLs goes. Go ahead and paste that in there. Save the webhook. I'm gonna go ahead and click view deliveries and that's gonna let me send a test request. So I'm gonna hit this button. It's gonna send a test over to my webhook. It's gonna look like this, which is really crazy, but we don't need to worry about that. That's what it sent. I'm gonna go over here to API Nation. I'm gonna do that same thing, test the webhook, and there we go. This is the information we're pulling over from Typeform. Go ahead and hit finish. All right, our webhook for Typeform is now set up. And the great thing is now that I've set up that webhook for Typeform, I can now sync it with any of these other apps that are currently on API Nation. Like I said, 
The webhooks are going to change the game. They're a great wild card to connect any of the apps that you want. Let's go back and finish this up. I'm going to connect DocuSign. It'll take you out to DocuSign. You'll sign in, give DocuSign permission. All right. And then there's just a few configuration options to set up this sync from type form using the webhooks to DocuSign. Let me go ahead and choose the account and then the roles, the office, and the transaction side. If, it's, if these are list side transactions or buy side transactions, and then I'll choose an update, create a room and continuously update room. Hit subscribe. All right, so we've created the sync, but it's not yet active. I'm gonna come on down here to mapping. You can see we just gotta map some of this stuff up. So you just gotta map up the fields you have in type form that the webhook is pulling over. You're gonna use this tool to decide exactly where that webhook information is going in DocuSign. And you can see it has all the information that webhook is pulling over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these in. Once you've matched up the information from your webhook into your app, in this case DocuSign, you go to the top and hit activate this sync. And that's it, the webhook is now set. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, but in this case, now anytime somebody fills out my type form to create a transaction, it's gonna go ahead and take all that information using that webhook and plug it into DocuSign, creating a transaction room in DocuSign Rooms. Like I said, that is just the tip of the iceberg with webhooks. You can also use webhooks to connect things like Slack, Stripe, Microsoft Teams, Google Sheets, Jotform, Notion, using webhooks to connect apps to API Nation. The only limit is gonna be your imagination. So that's it, that's the new webhook tool at API Nation and how you can use it to connect a bunch of different new apps to API Nation and the apps you've already connected there. If you need any help setting this up or would like any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, you can also find our contact information in the description of this video and reach us there. We're API Nation, we're connecting the world's applications.